Hey guys, this is Sad Forest Games, and I'm back to your reaction to Ruby, Volume 5, Chapter 14, Haven's Fate. And I'm gonna go a rant on it during the credits of this one, because this, this, this is the Volume 5 finale, and I'll get into my thoughts about Volume 5 and that, because I, I've got a bone to pick with this, but <laughs> I've, had, I've had many bones to pick with this volume. But, well, anyway, I'm just, I'm just gonna go out, I'm just gonna go out, I'm just gonna, quick summary, it was a good volume, not what I was, like, it, it was, it was what I was expecting, yet at the same time, not. Um, and I'll, I'll discuss my problems with it during the credits. So, yeah, uh, and, anyway, let's just start the video. I'm just, I'm just trying to sync up so I can, like, you know, because editing this is going to be a jerk because this is a 25 minute long video. Not exactly 25 minutes, but you get the point. So, yeah, and play. Okay, yeah, all right. Back to the fairy tale, back to the show Back to the wall and there's nowhere to go Hopeless and desperate, all past adverse Things looking bleak and they're bound to get worse Helpless and doomed and there's nowhere to win Goals unachievable, faith running thin Lost and forlorn, impossible odds That's when you learn you've been messing with God Sin in your grim, tear off a limb Strike me with bolts of lightning I won't die The battle seems unwinnable But all we need's a miracle we're going up, we'll never be denied Can't wish away the dismal days Can't bring back what is gone We'll waste no tears on yesteryears Instead we'll carry on Live for sure, we will endure And though our goal is far We'll be the voice to touch the sun And triumph will be ours Whew. Oh boy, here we go Adam, why'd you only bring, like, five men? <laughs> Please. D guys, don't even try. You're outnumbered, like, a bajillion to the three, so... <laughs> yeah, don't. At least Blake, at least Adam isn't all the way down. Because he's no pushover. He should not be a pushover. Still too afraid to face me on your own. I'm here for Haven, not you. You are still afraid, and you should be. I've made powerful friends while you've been away. Oh, yeah? Yes. Yeah. For someone who claims to have such great friends, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people here willing to fight for you. Yeah. True. <laughs> you can try and make me regret coming here, Adam. But honestly, I've got more important things to deal with. <laughs> Yes. Look, Sun V Adam is something I've wanted, so. But he's getting away. We can take him. No, we can't. He wants to lure us away so he can take us off. Yes. We need to protect the school and the people here. Besides, now he can see what it feels like to run away. Nice. Thank you. Aww. The black sun intensifies. <laughs> I think there's a few people who could use yours. Be 
It's true love! <laughs> Lancer, Queen Lancer. Nice! Leo's aura. <laughs> Like, <laughs> uh, I'm sure Emerald had a face, but Mercury was the one more noticeable. I do this. Explanation, please. I can already see the answer. It's all over your face. How could you? She was scared when we found her. No matter how much training I put her through, she never learned. She wasn't cut out for this world. And with those powers, she would have been hunted her entire life. What I did wasn't personal. It was mercy. Which is it, Mom? Are you merciful? Or are you a survivor? Did you let me walk into that trap because you knew I could handle it? Or because it meant you could get what you wanted? It's not that simple. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. The choices I've had to make. You're right. I don't know you. I only know the Raven Dad told me about. She was troubled and complicated. But she fought for what she believed in, whether it was her team or her tribe. Did you kill her too? Oh. I've stared death in the face over and over again, and every time I've spat in that face and survived because I'm strong enough to do what others won't. Oh, shut up! Yes! The first thing about strength. You turn your back on people. You run away when things get too hard. You put others in harm's way instead of yourself. You might be powerful. That doesn't make you strong. Hmm. Who do you think you are lecturing me? Standing there shaking like a scared little girl. Yeah, I'm scared. But I'm still standing here. Mm. I'm not like you. I won't run. Mm. Which is why you're going to give me the relic. And why would I? Because you're afraid of Salem! Oh. Is not having demon powers put a target on your back? Imagine what she'll do when she finds out you have a relic. Mm-hmm. She'll come after you with everything she has. Or she could come after me. And I'll be standing there, waiting for her. Mm-hmm. This is why I love you, Yang. <laughs> Yang, you are great. <laughs> Off 
she goes. There it is. The first time we actually get to see a relic. <laughs> Since, you know, Osmond's cane is not the relic. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. It was just like, an attack requires an army, so... I think you're dying here, Lionheart. I mean, he was based off the Cowardly Lion, pretty much. Just give up. It's not over. Mina will come back. She'll have the relic. And she'll stop playing. Yeah, not anytime soon. Uh, what? Ugh. That's just an illusion, though, so, you know. Yep, just an illusion. Okay. Yeah, alright. <laughs> that was freaky, I'm telling you.
Hey. ourselves for too long. Perhaps it's time for a new brotherhood. A new family for Bonus truly working towards a better world. We'll need a new leader. <laughs> One I'd rather not go through <laughs> again. <laughs> Sisterhood is back. <laughs> I don't know how, but we did it, Huff. You okay? Uh, all right. Okay. It's resting. Mm. Too much energy fighting. Mm. Hey, so don't strain yourself. So. <laughs> We just, Weiss just got back from Atlas. Dang it, she's got to go back. <laughs> oh, all right, just going to end there. All right. I expected a bit more, but okay. All right, well, the credits are all rant okay let's start let's start things off i'm gonna have to listen to this again but anyway volume five i'm not gonna say it was bad it was it was good like it was very good but i still have a lot of bones to pick with it okay first of all the first complaint anyone's gonna hear is the is the um is the guy is the uh the fact that the first three quarters of the season, the episodes one through ten, with Rangers, Crow, and Oscar, were pretty much all exposition. Everything was exposition. Everything else, like with Yang finding Raven and Weiss and um Everything else other than But I I guess I can forgive the exposition. Like it was a lot of in information to that we really kinda needed and and um well I mean, I can't hate on it that much, despite being way too much. Like, I don't really think we needed, like, another exposition dump when, when Yang and Weiss came back, you know, and, you know, they had to, you know, explain the whole situation. We could have just figured they'd learned that off screen, and we didn't really 
need another, you know, lecture. And, um, but anyway, um, but yeah, but everything else that, like, other than the exposition kept us occupied with, um, you know, Blake, Blake's son and Ilya stuff and the, um, and, you know, like I said, the Yang and, Yang, Raven, and Weiss stuff. Um, especially Weiss, Weiss and Pilot Boy, they were the best team. I still hold out hope that Pilot Boy is alive. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry, Pilot Boy is amazing, but anyway. He's got a name too, called Phoenix Alt Aider, I think his name I think his name was. That he was given by one of the animators, I think. But anyway, I don't think he it's not an actual canon name, but as far as I know. But anyway. Um But then came along more the more the merrier. I believe that was chapter eleven. The pacing went from zero to one hundred. And while I don't hate the things that were done. Just how we got there just didn't seem right. I expected at least another volume until we got to that point. And, you know, with the entirety, you know, with just the, the fall of Haven and all that. Because I guess Haven has technically fallen, considering Leo's dead, but... Then again, they can't just leave Mistral right now with, you know, the way it is right now. Nearly in shambles with Leo dead and, you know... The Academy is a bit of disrepair. Plus, we, we didn't even see... Okay. Here's the thing. Here Here's my... Here's my... Here's my complaints. Okay. First of all, Oscar. He barely got any individuality. Like, the only individual individuality we got was his talks with Ruby and really the first episode where... The first episode, we didn't even hear Ozpin at all. It was just Oscar. And we barely even saw him in that episode two, then episode three, and you know the bit of individuality we saw was again with Ruby and I, and you know Rose Garden all the way. But hey, I'm, that's my bias here. But anyway, um, he as for right now, Oscar is just a bridge between him and Ozpin, and bet between Ozpin and communication with with the outside world, really. I'm just like. I want Oscar to have more individuality, and I just didn't, I just did not hear, and I just did not see it, and I did not like that. And, well, the credits are almost over, and I haven't done, done, I, I'm not done with my rant yet. Um, um, okay. Alright. After credit scene, I'm guessing? Yep. Ooh, Taiyang! <laughs> oh? Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Oh, coming some from Mr. Teeth Animation. Nomad Nowhere? Nomad of Nowhere? Okay. And? Oh, Genlock. I've heard, I've heard I've heard I've heard rumors about about that. Hmm. Okay. I've heard rumors about you know a, a show called Genlock coming out. Okay. Well. Hmm. Okay. And okay. Where was I? <laughs> um. Oscar's individuality. The fact that 
the pacing just screwed up this season. The Ruby timeline is something that's just too confusing and just should not be addressed any more than it really should be. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, the fact that Adam only brought about seven people <laughs> in its in their entirety to to Haven to take it down. Why? <laughs> Okay, um, I was expecting, like, a full-on battle, just like we had with Battle of Beacon. The Battle of Beacon was amazing. It was the fall of Beacon. That was brilliantly done. And now for the deaths, the character deaths. The reason character deaths worked out so well in Volume 3 was because we knew these characters. We loved these characters. We we had to, we got to know them over the past vol two volumes and, and you know, and a half, pre and two volumes and three quarters <laughs> of the third volume. Um, so, yeah, um, but that, but then along came volume five, and we didn't, I didn't necessarily care about the character deaths, really, like, other than, other than the fact that, it's just, it, other than, other than complaining that these characters didn't get any more character development than they really should have. Sienna Khan, most of all, we I was looking forward to her. Like, I realized, oh, Sienna Khan, she she's she's pretty much took over once Gira Gira Belladonna stepped down. She's gotta have some interesting character. And she did have an interesting character in the time we knew her, but then she's immediately axed off, and uh, just this story's just a mess. Like it was, it's a huge mess, but at least it, it was still entertaining enough for me to at least like it, and for me to at least, you know, it did, it not bother me too much. Like, um, the Ruby Volume 5, it's, it's a bit of a mess, but hey, I still, I still like it. It, it's still a good volume. Like, it's not, it's not great, but it's still, it's still good enough. I, I still recommend, like, you know, it's, it's not like, Hey, you should skip this volume. It doesn't matter. No, every every volume has mattered. Volume four, to a lesser extent, but still, volume four does matter. Um, yeah, I I did like this volume. It was very good. So, yeah, I I'm coming up on the twenty nine minute mark. I better stop here. So, yeah, maybe I'll just leave a rant rant later on. So, yeah, till next time, guys. See ya.